Hi there, my name's Ken. Welcome along to this F2 English Conversations lecture for beginner students. Now the vocabulary and the structures in this lesson are going to be quite basic, but they're going to help you with your pronunciation and speaking clearly and also speaking in a rhythm. Now speaking in a rhythm will really help you to speak a little bit clearer and a little bit smoother. Especially if you're a beginner student, it's really important to get into good habits when you're speaking. If you know a little bit of English, this lecture is also fantastic to help improve your pronunciation. So in, the, in this overview, I'm going to show you some top tips on how to get the best from this lecture number two. The topics that we're going to cover in lesson number two are months of the year, the weather, seasons, and a couple of really good adverbs that you can use normally and usually. Now in this lesson, I'm going to introduce to you some of the basic vocabulary and also how to put this into sentences, questions and answers. Now, as you follow the lesson, you're going to pick up some good habits and you're also going to be learning how to put some of the linking sounds together to help you speak that little bit more smoother. Now, the first topic we look at is months of the year. Now, when I was learning Spanish, one of the things I did was to keep repeating things like the months of the year or the days of the week. Now, for example, if you listen to this part, you'll be able to put, this, put the sentences into little sections that you're able to speak each section very smoothly. And then pause, and then the next section. And then stop, and then the next section. So if you listen to this. The months of the year are January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now this next part is putting words that appear together quite often and we put them together to make one sound. So for example, if you look at this question, what is, we don't say what is, we say what? This is called a contraction. And contractions can make our language and our voice really friendly and soft. So what? So if you listen to this. What's the first month of the year? What's the first month of the year? Now using what's it's very, very common and it's a good habit to actually start speaking this. What's, what's this? In English, there's a lot of S sounds and th, 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 th sounds that some English learners find it difficult. So in English, it's really important to start pronouncing these sounds. So for example, if you, if you listen to this question, the question is, is, is October the 10th month of the year? Is October the 10th month of the year? Is October the 10th month of the year? Yes, it is. October's the 10th month of the year. Yes, it is. October's the 10th month of the year. Is October the 10th month of the year? And the answer is a lot of S sounds. Yes, it is. October's the 10th month of the year. So when we speak it in a full smooth sentence, it sounds like this. Yes, it is. October's the 10th month of the year. Yes, it is. October's the 10th month of the year. 
With our rhythm in English, generally it sounds like this. So if you can get that habit and that rhythm when you're speaking, you're going to be speaking a lot smoother and a lot clearer. Again, in English, we, when we speak, we will generally or normally speak in little sections of the sentence. So for example, with the sentence, there are four seasons in the year in Europe. There are four seasons in the year in Europe. Now that sentence is quite long and it's very quick. So when we speak it, we will break it down into sections. In Europe, there are four seasons in the year. In Europe, there are four seasons in the year. So for example, if you listen to the sentence, it becomes like this. There are four seasons in the year in Europe. There are four seasons in the year in Europe. So you can see the rhythm when you're speaking and this will help you to speak more smoothly. So practice this. Sometimes when we're describing something, we will use two adjectives. For example, if we, if we look at this next part, we're, we're describing summer. Summer is hot and dry. Hot and dry are adjectives. But when we speak it, the first adjective belongs to the first part. So for example, in summer, the weather is hot, the weather is hot, and the second adjective is with and, the conjunction, and dry, and dry. So it becomes, in summer, the weather is hot and dry, the weather is hot and dry. And this is how we, how we will speak when we're describing things. The first adjective belongs to the first part, the conjunction and second adjective to the second part. Have a listen. In summer, the weather is hot and dry. In summer, the weather is hot and dry. And this next example is pretty much exactly the same. The sentence is, it's cold and snowy in winter. So it's cold and snowy in winter. It's cold and snowy in winter. So this is a really good tip to help you with your pronunciation in English. It's cold and snowy in winter. If we, if we say the sentence in full, all together, it's too long. It's cold and snowy in winter. It's far too long. And if we say it with each word, it is cold and snowy in winter. Again, it's not smooth at all. So it's cold and snowy in winter. Da -da 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 -da. No, it isn't. It's cold and snowy in winter. No, it isn't. It's cold and snowy in winter. Try this with, with the sentences within the lesson and you'll find yourself becoming more smoother. It's a really, really good habit to have and good knowledge to have. The last thing I'm going to show you about this lesson is the two adverbs, normally and usually. And again with these, if you listen, we're linking them to the verb before. What months of the year are usually spring? What months of the year are usually spring? So for example, if you look at the sentence, what months of the year are normally spring? But when we say the sentence, we say it like this. We break it into sections again. What months of the year are normally spring? What months of the year are normally spring. Months of the year are all together, are normally 
be put together and then spring at the end. And this helps us to be smoother. What months of the year are normally spring. And again, this example here, June, July and August are normally summer. June, July and August, we join that together, and August, are normally, again, this sounds together, are normally summer. So June, July and August are normally summer. June, July and August are usually summer. June, July and August are usually summer. So these are the top tips for lesson number two. I hope you enjoy and good luck with the lesson.